In today's activity, you're going to be learning about fractions. You're going to need three pieces of paper that are all the same size and three crayons or colored pencils. I chose red, blue, and green. First, we're going to make one half. Take one of your pieces of paper and fold it into two equal sections or one half. Crease the folded edge, then open up the paper. You will now see that you have two equal sections on the one whole piece of paper. Color in one of the two sections with one of your colored pencils or crayons. I chose my red crayon and then label one half because one of the two equal pieces is now red. So one half of the paper is red. Next, we're going to make one fourth. Take one of the other pieces of paper, fold it in half, Make sure to crease the edge very crisply. Without opening it up, fold it in half again and crease that edge crisply. Now open up your paper and you should see that it has four equal sections. Each section is called one fourth. Color one of the sections with your colored pencils. I chose to use green and label that section one fourth. It is one fourth because one out of the four equal sections has been colored green. Next, we are going to make one eighth. Take your last piece of paper, fold it in half with a nice crisp edge. Without unfolding the paper, fold it in half again. And without folding the, unfolding the paper, fold it in half again. Now unfold the paper. You should see that there are eight equal sections folded with creases on the paper. Color in one of those eight sections with your last colored crayon and label it one eighth because one out of the eight equal sections has been colored blue or whatever color you chose. What do you notice about these fractions that you've just created? Take a look at these fractions. One half is the biggest fraction. Even though the digit two in the denominator is a small number, when, it's, when we are dividing something into just two equal pieces, those pieces are pretty big. But look at one eighth. Because I took that same piece of paper and divided up into eight equal pieces, even though the digit eight as the denominator is a bigger digit, one eighth is a smaller piece because I had to take that piece of paper and divide it up into eight equal pieces. This idea of the size of fractions and the denominators of the fractions is an important concept in understanding fractions and later on being able to compare which fractions are bigger or smaller. We'll learn more about that on another day.